going to be 50 something today apparently, that's what we're told, 58 or so, uh, it's about 52 degrees at the moment, so we're getting up there, they're going to be down into the 40s as a high uh, on this coming weekend. So I'm going to pull this plate off here, which is on the bottom of the snowblower, and just see what's in there. Uh, but obviously the belt and drive system is in there. Uh, maybe I can adjust it on the cables, but I'm going to pull that apart and just have a look anyway. So I've taken off this cover. There was six 3.8 bolts. Um, and now I can actually see what's going on in here. So I figured out how it works. So when you pull the... Uh, lever to engage the drive this disc here okay if you can see that um, this disc moves towards this wheel here this wheel is connected through the gear uh, through gears to the actual wheels and tires on both sides so the only thing that drives from the engine to the wheels is this disc turning and touching this wheel here which has got a rubber a rubberized um, covering on it and that touches this disc and gives you the drive and it goes through the axle here through this gear to the wheel and that gear is the same so it's the same the both sides pretty much and look I'll Pull the lever now and you can see how much that moves. Uh, these gears here are actually um, to turn the snow um, to turn the snow blower left or right. It's, you, you've got this lever up on the uh, top of the snow blower and when you pull that lever it lifts this lever here, if you can see that, off of here which is some sort of gear, which disengages drive to this wheel. So then the, the, the um, snowblower will turn to the right because the, the wheel on the left here will turn and the wheel on the right will not. And there's one on that side as well, exactly the same. So this lever comes up, you pull that lever up, it disengages from uh, this type of gear thing here and, uh, and then the snow the snow blower will turn to the to the left and of course as you change the gears uh, this moves in uh, which increases the speed because it's going towards the the center of this disc so it's obviously going to in speed in increase the speed of this axle and when you put it out to the further out to the disc then it'll um, slow it down. Okay so here's a view from the outside. Um, obviously the wheels and then the two gears here uh, and these gears are attached to this axle here and this axle is attached to this wheel here and this wheel touches this disc and that's how we get the drive. Um, very very crude i've seen something like this before on something but but i don't remember what it was um but anyway that's the, that's the drive system of the the st230p uh, from husqvarna